Hello again, everybody. This is Charles of First Auto Credit with Paddle King Boats. Today I'm coming to you with a 2021 floor plan number two. It is burgundy and silver. Per customer request, I'll go through some of the features that we have. Um, it has some of the normal Paddle King features that you can get along with features that uh, First Auto Credit, my dealership, offers. Um, I can do a lot of custom stuff. This one I'll go through. This isn't a crazy build, but it is a practical build. This gentleman lives in Idaho. This will be going to its home tomorrow. It has a long 15 or 1700 mile, depending which way he takes journey. And I have, I'm excited to show this boat to you. I left the Bimini cover off. It's actually a burgundy cover as well. That one's coming off and staying off for the long journey, just to mitigate any risk of getting it super dirty or anything like that. But I am gonna <clears throat> go through this boat piece by piece. Uh, slowly and uh, we'll just talk about it. Okay, first of all um, What I want to show is a different style of cleat It's uh, just uh, he's an older gentleman. He wanted to mitigate Trip hazards, so he does have the fold away cleats Let me get that on there fold away quick cleats and you'll notice just behind it. I have my Minkota quick disconnect plug now we did this and pre-wired the boat for him because he is going to be placing his own trolling motor up front once he gets home. These actually look really nice. I like them. I think I might start adopting these. Um, anyways, so he is going to be adding in his own trolling motor when he gets back home. Uh, we have it set up with some extra cable in the back so he can run a 24-volt system. You'll notice I'm climbing up these with a, uh, the Paddle King steps. And I did hurt my back this week, so it's actually... <clears throat> very helpful for me so coming inside this floor plan number two I'll show you what we have we have the two swivel seats up front and these are actually pretty wide so they will fit a lot of people uh, and then notice back here we actually do have the uh, the standard on the port side will always have the live well I have some paperwork and things in there for them and then he opted for the sun lounger, which adds a back to this to make it more comfortable. And then over here, the added storage box with the mooring cover and bimini and boot. Now you'll notice that there's nothing here. This was per request, it was a custom request to exclude the dry storage box. And in place of that, with a, in series with our radio system that we added, we went ahead and added him the USB with aux cord so he can plug into this radio and play music. This is Bluetooth, AM, AM FM, and uh, aux and USB capable. That allows you everything that you need to get going on the water. So I'll open up the rear seats. And underneath, you can see we actually have hiding. We have one SRM31 series. This is a big battery. And he wanted the large battery for everything. And then he's going to add several more up to four so he has a four bank uh, Minn Kota 460 pc charger i love these things i'm a big fan of them they do a great job our fuel tanks uh, staged back here okay and then of course we have our fire extinguisher already pre-mounted and then on our gmr 2.5 it's an mb court gmr 2.5 head unit similar to the kicker head units um, i like these because they are a simple interface they don't get too in depth uh, along with the GMR LED head units. Um, depending on the customer that you have and their needs, that works well for us. This here is the kicker, six and a halfs, and then we do have a little bit of dynamat or hush mat behind to calm it down. And then I'll show you some of the room back here leading out to our rear exit. The ladder for this gentleman is mainly as a safety feature in case he goes swimming when he w doesn't want to. And I'll get back out of here. Of course, you always have the rod holders here with the cup holder uh, integrated into it. And I'll show you some of the finished work on this tune here. So this is the Tri-Tune. It's a 2021 Tri-Tune. I just want you to take a look down this thing. We've got her all shined up. Now for traveling, since they're going such a long way, I did WD-40 the tunes here to help get all the gravel and things to not stick. They are going to go through some salty areas. That'll help repel that so when they get home, they can pressure wash it off and get this all clean again. 
Um, this has a spray wax on it. I get them shined up as best I can for the, tr for the trip out. And we'll go over here to the rear. We added our standard cleats to the back here. That's per request as well. And I'll raise this guy up, bring it down. This is our 20, 21 Tatsu. It's a 20 horsepower engine. You get about 20 miles an hour uh, with a couple people in this boat. Uh, of course, light condition and everything like that dictates, but you're about 20 miles an hour. Um, we did set it to where we have a neutral plane. All of ours we set with a neutral plane. If you need to adjust once you're on the water, you can with these two simple trim tabs there. Uh, this is a four-stroke fuel-injected engine, and uh, all you have to do is an oil change with it, um, and that thing's ready to rock. We've already done our initial checkout, our PDI on it. It's ready to roll. It's turnkey. He just needs to follow the rest of the break-in procedure. I'm excited about meeting this gentleman. He's very, very, very nice. Uh, him and his wife and son were wonderful to deal with. And this is just a great boat going to a great family. And I cannot wait for him to send me pictures of some of the cool fish that he catches out there. They got big rainbow trout, lake trout. They've got a lot of cool stuff that I don't have. So, anyways, this has been Charles at First Auto Credit and Paddle King Boats. Thank you so much for viewing. If you have any questions on any of my Paddle King products, please call me 573 204 7777. And you can email me at charles at firstautocredit.com. Thank you so much for viewing. Have a great evening.